Hey Wavy family, if you'd like to support me and my channel, don't forget to use my code OceanSims when you purchase any Sims 4 pack or kits on the EA app or thesims.com. I receive 5% of your purchase when doing so, which directly supports me and my channel. Thank you so much for your support and happy simming. This is my favorite part of Sims 4 family gameplay. Like, I know that Kenny's just relaxing here, but to me, it looks like she's watching her little sister. I really don't know which twin came first, um, but she's watching her sleeping and just like, wow, like I, I love this. Like we were on vacation. It was just our birthday. We're really just so blessed. Like I love that for us. <laughs> so anyway, she's just going to let Jor um, sleep, but she's also going to get up here. And I am so sad you all because I thought that I um, had got those shirts from the night market and I checked and created them and they actually aren't there. So I have to go back to the night market and buy the tops for the girls because I do want to unlock everything here. Princess Di Maano shows signs of the caregiver personality type. Oh, so Princess is giving very much caregiver, and I love that. I didn't know you were capable of that, Princess. Just kidding. I mean, they all honestly have just, they have big hearts. They're amazing. But I love that she's bonding with her um, older cousin right now. Look at Barbie holding her baby. I love this. Mindy cuddles too, so we're down for that, right? <laughs> Barbie's gonna take a shower. She's gonna get ready. She's singing in the shower. We have to do some karaoke tonight with our babe because it is date night and you can't even see it here because there's a glitch in The Sims right now, even if you don't play with any mods or CC, where all, not all of The Sims are showing the holidays, which I'm... I'm very upset about because don't play with me in seasons that's my favorite pack i vouch for it all the time and i just don't know where that glitch came from kenneth does not play about his wife i mean he is stinky right now so he is going to freshen up himself but one thing about it and two things is for sure he loves his wife and so he, of course he got something for date night um you know they're here they want to make the most of their time here in tamarang as well so who is calling hi george some of us are getting together for a family barbecue at the park this afternoon come join us now lolo why are you asking me to come he's not he's not he's not really asking this that is so fitting he would i'm good you all go ahead and have fun that's too bad it won't be the same without you oh he's so cute i love him so i'm gonna have jor wake up because i mean lis listening to all this chatter right next to her she's probably like hey good morning let's give her a hug and then i also want to yeah we could just talk Oh, well, anyway, she's going to tell the girls like how she plans on moving here or whatever. She's dying to show us the apartments, some new apartments that were built. They're very cute, very modern. So we're going to check those out. But the first thing we need to do is go and visit the Sully Tiger Sanctuary. So we're going to get the fam all dressed and ready for that. Hey, son, what's up? What's wrong? Um, I don't know. Everyone has someone to play with or talk to here. And it's just me by myself. Oh, my goodness. You want to come on let's we're gonna go we're gonna go outside crystal looks so sad and he's like yeah, i have no one else to play with and all this stuff and kenneth is just like all right come on buddy we'll go outside but what else is really wrong with you and crystal's like my tooth hurts so what i'm gonna do is just give him a hug he has a loose tooth he woke up with a loose tooth and so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna uh kind of notice that when we go to give him a hug he's like yeah my tooth hurts let me take a look at it bud oh okay i see okay let's go in the mirror go look at it let me go let me go see this tooth really quick so let's come here and he should be able to just uh i thought we could do this in the mirror but we can have him wiggle his loose tooth all right don't pull it out yet it's not loose we could pull it out but we're just gonna have him wiggle it <laughs> let's shoot up his bladder i don't want him peeing on himself oh our baby is confident i love that so much and then uh he wiggled his tooth crystal couldn't help it a wobbly tooth must be investigated okay so we're gonna we're gonna wait till your tooth falls out i kind of want it to fall out naturally um i don't really want to pull it out this time around i want to check in on our girls and see what their confidence or self-esteem i'm sorry looks like shouldn't they have self-esteem because they did have confidence i don't see that here though i thought it would say like high self-esteem low self-esteem I don't know. Maybe they need to be teens for longer. Crisanto is now calling uh, Barbie. So let's just go ahead and answer that. She's actually feeling homesick. She misses her or she misses her family. This Let's Play is so real. Barbie is sad. Right when he calls her, she gets sad. She's missing her family. Family oriented Sims need to spend time with their family. I wish you all could have came here. Yeah, I'm having so much fun. My goal, like honestly, was to make more family that lived here in Tomarang. So I probably would will do that uh just because i feel like they wouldn't just come here and not know anyone you know because this is their 
this is this is how it is like in the philippines i have loads of family members that i haven't even met yet and it's crazy how that works in families everything oh no we keep forgetting to feed you i y'all are gonna stop forgetting to feed lady now okay um but we can we go probably gonna go soon that of the year here is building a sea turtle look at him he's so cute they're excited he's like dad this was so fun you should probably take a picture of this, Chris. I think this is photo worthy. So he's gonna go ahead and actually let's have him stand over here and he gained some confidence. Yes, I love that for you. Let me go ahead and take a photo right now. Keep Kenneth there. If he could stay there, this would be the perfect photo op. Awesome, yes, built this with dad. <laughs> I love this family. <laughs> they are so precious. Love photos. I need to hang everything on the wall. Oh, I think he might be standing too close. Yeah, you're standing too close. I should have just did take photo, but can you believe that he's going to be the last kiddo in the house? Perfect. I want us both to have photos of the awesome turtle we built. I mean, look at that. That is pretty awesome. Like, if you could really build that... <laughs> You're an artiste. I was about to leave out and travel to the Sully Tiger Sanctuary, but I forgot. It's literally right over here. So we don't, we just have to walk. So we don't have to travel necessarily. I love that, like when the worlds are so open like this. And then if we have time, which I really hope we do, I will want to travel to the uh, the Cucina of Lola. This is actually created by Luddy Simmer and it's not on the gallery. I actually just asked him for it because it was like a personal build, I think, for him. And I was like, I really need this build. It's actually a long walk. I'm not going to lie this is a quite a bit of a stretch this is a long walk but it's so worth it like look how long it is <laughs> you might want to uber or ride a bike here but you know what it's okay we're taking in all the sights and sounds we're technically not running we are fully enjoying everything but the sounds the the ambiance i'm loving it so much it's so good barbie we don't have time for you to be sad today oh hatred for the sun see this is not realistic the high maintenance trait is just awful because it's not realistic she does not hate the sun she's just hot you know like don't paint my girl like that don't paint a picture a bad narrative she loves it here why would she hate the sun and then we have joy here look at this cute little outfit what's on her feet what is this oh no i think it's the sandal oh no that's gonna bother me do i feel like sitting through a loading screen to fix her shoes i probably you know what let's i'm not worried about her feet <laughs> i am not worried about her feet are you i'm not but i'll just have her switch into another outfit kenneth you made it here first thank goodness dear because everyone else for some reason anyway while they wait to catch up he's going <laughs> to view this look at this beautiful statue this statue is beautiful i must admit the great mother kanmai lived a long and fruitful life serving her people the tamarani people still honor her and the oath to the tigers of mutual protection so i guess legend has it that we could probably see her eyes you know her glowing eyes from the brush um maybe we'll see that it's like a little spoken folk tale, and i kind of like that uh, but it's not nighttime i think we see her eyes in the back here at night right all right chris since you were the first one back go ahead inside and adopt a tiger why can't we adopt um there we go Oh no, wow, so Christo is a kid. He can't adopt a tiger, but he can go visit this. Okay, so mommy will get him a tiger because when you adopt a tiger, you're essentially only getting a stuffed animal, but I love that so much. So let's go ahead and adopt a tiger. We're also going to donate. Um, please go ahead and donate. Ooh, spotted way off in the distant trees. There appears to be something moving in the brush. Could it be an elusive tiger? Christo sure thinks so. Flow wildly to get nearby Sam's attention, drop to the ground and pull out a camera so because he's a kid and i feel like he just went in there no camera no nothing he's just gonna be like dad 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 and he can't get anyone's attention um spotted just as everyone in the group turned to stare at Christo's antics a large tiger gracefully strode out of the foliage it stayed still in the distance almost as if posing for the watching sims then as quick as it appeared the tiger let out a low rumbly call and left into the branches of a tree vanishing instantly giddy with excitement Christo let out a playful little growl back and skipped back into the sanctuary i think that is adorable and that is so cute that is so cute let's make sure we donate fifty dollars our simoleons i keep saying dollars how basic we don't have dollars here we have simoleons um let's donate 50 as well and is there a bench or something we can sit near or sit by yes so we will sit here with our mans and just kind of cuddle sit and chit chat um barbie is like oh my gosh kenneth it's so hot here but i love it I don't care what my mood buff says. I do love it. We are feeling very fulfilled. We donated and now we're going to go ahead and adopt our tiger. Hopefully we will get that in the mail. 
I got you, Jor. Just wait a minute. Just wait one second. Welcome to the Cub Club. Congrats on becoming a Cub Club member. And thank you for your generous donation toward the Adopted Tiger program. It still makes me feel like I did something good, you know? And so I'm going to have Jor come in here also and adopt a tiger. They both donated money. And I love this. Like, we have generous children. I really wish... Ri what? Wrist? Wish? What? <laughs> I really wish Grizz could come in here and support and and donate and everything because he'd love that you know he would love that but let's go ahead and just have barbie come in here and adopt a tiger for baby Cristo, and so we'll give him the cub and you know mom and dad had to take a photo can you believe wait is today their birthday it's going to be their birthday which is absolutely amazing game is lagging so let me push that escape key you know that always fixes it <laughs> the sims is so bootleg like i have to push the escape key to get rid of the Oh, honey, I love this game so much. Is is that bad that I'm like, literally, this is lagging and I love this game. I really do. So let's go ahead and go to dinner. And I think that's where I want to age everyone up. Wow, this is so gorgeous. Look at how the light is coming in through here. I should have took them here for a date, but we do, we, we love our kids. You know, we want to celebrate with our kids and everything too. So is there a table for five? I fear there is not, but we can make it happen, Captain. So what we're going to do is I think I know what I'm gonna do actually. This is gonna be perfect. There we go. Oh, I can add this. And I might as well leave this here because you know we will be back. Let's test this out. So we're gonna request a table. I do have Carl's Dine Out reloaded in here, so I believe this is where this is coming from. Um, but I don't feel like spending the 100 simoleons. <laughs> so let's pretend that you know we have a cousin here that has a hookup. <laughs> <laughs> we are not spending 100 simoleons. And Barbie, you are not going to still be upset with the sun. That mood lit was so long. Why was she still upset? I bet you there were probably only two minutes left of it. So, hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin Beauty? You're a young adult now. You're like, you started this off as a teen. He looks like he hates his job. Kevin, don't do it. He looks like he hates his job, doesn't he? He was just giving attitude. Um, that new super scary rated R movie came out last night. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm in Tumarang. I told y'all this. So how did Luddy make his menu? Very simple. I see it's very simple. Um, so we could have, ooh, let's all have sugar cane juice just because we want to try that. Crystal is going to have some lumpia. He's very basic. Him and Kenny are so much alike. I actually think she's going to have lumpia too, just the appetizer. Oh, spaghetti. So Luddy put spaghetti on the menu. We don't have a lot of Filipino foods in the game, like pork adobo, but there's also chicken adobo, pancit, but uh, we don't have a lot of Filipino foods. So this is actually the best. And with Luddy putting spaghetti, I know that Luddy is talking about the Filipino spaghetti with the banana ketchup. I used to hate, hate Filipino spaghetti when I was little. I'm like, ah, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> mm, this is going to be so yummy. Wow, only 66 simoleons. It's such a beautiful restaurant. Look at him ordering for himself. Thank you. We'll bring out your order as soon as it's ready. I really appreciate that, boss. Thank you. That's what my husband says, like, to all everyone. He's like, thanks, boss. You know, when he's talking to, like, other men. I think it's the cutest thing ever. See, our kids are still kids at heart. They they love drawing at the table. And look at Kenny. I mean, Kenneth. Oh, my goodness. He's like, oh, Barb, we really did this. We really did this, babe. Ooh, look at them having a cute little date night. I just want to take a picture of them. You all are so gorgeous. Oh, the Jangs are here. Barbie hasn't even picked up her drone again ever since the battery died. Like she's really just been enjoying the day and I love that for her. But hey, hey, we have our food now, kids. Put the crayons away. Let's go, let's eat this delicious food. I do want to go ahead and um, just give my compliment to Maddie Coles. Thank you, because the food actually does, I mean, it's normal quality, but it looks good to me. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. Sit, you do not have to stand to, if y'all don't sit down. Celebrate Barbie's birthday by um, throwing a rocking birthday party. You like the food? Yes, wonderful. I will let the chef know um, how happy you were when I have a chance. Yes, please let the chef know. Are you gonna actually let them know? Oh, yay! Thank you. Yes, because Chef Maddie, you are throwing down in the kitchen, baby. You you are doing the thing. Everything is perfect. Thank you so much. Um, but let's go ahead and eat our food now. We're sitting here as a family enjoying our food. We're almost about finished here. And look who is here. It is Carlo by himself. No angel, just by himself. Barbie, eat your spaghetti. Whoa, eat spaghetti, eat spaghetti, eat spaghetti. Is this a glitch? <laughs> is this a glitch? I'm just going to pack it. I don't want to hit one. And then all of a sudden... I I don't know what's going on. Have y'all had that glitch? Now, if he does come to the table and say something to us, then I'm probably going to have to improv, do that weird improv thing that I do. Like, oh, hi, Carlo. Yes, yes. Angel told you were, you were here. Um, 
Whatever that means. I really just, I don't know. What did he eat? What did what you eat? What did you choose? What did you choose? <gasps> Who is with him? That is a table for two. We have some pork adobo. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Tita, our auntie is here. Our auntie is here. Are they surprising us right now? Are they surprising? Wait a minute, I really think they're surprising us. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, let me go look at my auntie. Yeah. Is my dad here? Because that would be actually pretty awesome. What are you doing here? Wait, so all of you came? Yeah, Angel just couldn't keep the surprise, but we wanted to surprise you all. Barbie is just like, oh my goodness, you all are so... <laughs> Hello. I miss you. Hi, auntie. Oh, I forgot she doesn't like affection. Oh, but she did a family kiss. She's like, no need to do all that. You know, I'd give you a family kiss. <laughs> I forgot she doesn't like affection that much. Auntie, we miss you. Yes. Wow. Okay, so now we need to take a picture because you all really surprised me. No wonder dad called me today. Barbie and Kenneth actually are supposed to be aging up today. So we definitely need them to kind of celebrate. I need a cake. So what I think I'm going to do is so I can use Ravishing's Cake a Break pastry box and just get a birthday cake. And hopefully it'll go in my inventory and we can do it like that. Ooh, what's this? So what kind of cake should we get? Let's just do a chocolate cake. Ooh, it would be nice if we had a mango cake, you know? Great. And we could actually put it in our inventory. Okay, so we're going to celebrate our birthday. Now, I know that we'd probably... You know what? No, let's do it. Let's do it here. Let's do it here. Let's just say that they're bringing our cake out here. This is nice. We're really celebrating our birthday with everyone we know and love. Normally, for some reason in my saves, the men in my saves are older than the women. I think I'm going to try this differently. And I'm just going to age Barbie up first. You know, let's just say she's like a year older, <laughs> older than him. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Whatever. Um, um, basically i'm just gonna let her go first and age up we're gonna blow out the candles which i actually have a mod in where it doesn't age them up if they blow them out <laughs> um oh wow some strangers even came to celebrate with us Jor will soon have her first pair oh my goodness on vacation okay I, i'll come back to this in a minute Jorah. i love you wait a minute um but let's go ahead and age up let's just go ahead and age up barbie now Yay, Barbie aged up adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement and midlife crisis. So wait the perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Thank you. And what's my baby looking like? Oh, she's, she's look at her little wrinkles on the side. I'm obsessed. Oh my goodness. Wow, Carlos sent to give, Ruby sent to give, Carlo Jr., Dylan. Wow, okay, the whole family. All right, I'm down with that. Thank you. And I know this like defeats the purpose. It's like, well, if they blow out the candles, why don't you want them to age up? But I want them to have like a birthday. I want them to start having yearly birthdays and I don't want them to like age up technically. So that's why I have this mod in. But technically for this event, I could totally just, you know, do it the old fashioned way. But all right, Kenneth, it's your turn, big daddy. Let's see what you look like. I got to give y'all some grays. Start looking like me. Now, why does Kenneth look confused that he aged up? Like he is looking at me like, well, what's this about? I thought we were just going to go to the lounge and have some karaoke. No, it's your birthday, son. You... <laughs> You're getting old, my dude. I'm sorry. Oh, no. He said, okay, I can get used to this. Yes, you are so cute. Now, please, please embarrass your children and make them feel uncomfortable and smack it. Oh, no, Barbie, let's get a really cute uh, moment here. Give her a really big kiss. You come here. You look so beautiful, babe. Thank you, honey. I love you so much. Let's make sure that we also give her um, a gift. It is date night, so let's give our wife a beautiful a beautiful little gift something something light like happy birthday baby i love you i love this for them oh you're so cute henny is looking at her parents and i do want her to take a picture you know why because <laughs> this is how you teach your kids what love is you know this is what it looks like this is the blueprint you know don't settle for less and we're gonna have kenny capture this moment oh she likes photography sure honey but let's she's like oh what is this babe a letter inside yes because i love you so much oh i love you baby you're so sweet this this vacation was dad ah, they're all surprising me <laughs> i feel like i'm on an episode of punked <laughs> Our family is here. They had me fooled. Okay, so while I'm over here, 
and kiss it on my man. I'm going to give my dad a big family kiss. Dad, yes. Did you see your tita? I told you. We were messing with y'all all day. You know that we had to fly here. Even if it's not for long, we miss you. We love you. Oh, and then the message that Kenneth gave us, it says, Barbie just received a flower bouquet along with a lovely message. You're my greatest adventure. I'm going to tell the girls to go ahead and head home. Hey, dad. Yeah, the girls can come back with us and stay at our lodge or our um the place where we're staying at. <laughs> You guys go ahead and have fun. Dad, I'm so glad that you came here. Daddy, I love and miss you. I'm so excited. I do have to take a picture. I know. Are you all tired I mean, taking pictures? I hope not. Well, it is time to get out of here. So let us go ahead and go to this beautiful lounge um, that we can go ahead and attend. Let's just go with, go with hubby. It is like five almost five in the morning this lounge is so nice do they have a karaoke machine though i was i was kind of hoping we could do some karaoke um they do have music which is awesome yes yeah see it's not filipinos without the karaoke it's not you know we have to we have to do this so we're just gonna um take some photos here in the photo booth and then we're gonna also get some drinks we're actually gonna get some drinks y'all <laughs> we're gonna get some drinks for once and yeah we got the picture how cute is it because i really want to hang this up where is it what he just took a flirty picture by himself no you're supposed to take a photo with <laughs> i had him take a photo by himself y'all i'm sorry look at the way that it looks y'all can barely see it but look at the photo of kenneth let me just place it on this random wall do you see this taking a sultry photo by himself no i want you to take it with barbie all right barbie come on let's go just when i thought you know mom and dad were having a nice little date night look who is out creeping out here at night Look, look who look who is walking out here at night. And look who is tagging along with her because he saw her run out the house. And she's probably going to snap on her brother like, Chris, what are you doing here? She, they are so mischievous. It's not even funny. I have them here because I want them. I want her to sneak into the sanctuary. <laughs> she's sneaking into the sanctuary. Oh, I'm so dramatic. Um, but, okay, and the kids can't do this. Ooh, so only teens and up can sneak in so she was able to sneak in Ooh, okay sneaking through the lobby kenny sees an employee's only room to the far right huh? oh my goodness the sound effects were intense did you all hear the sound effects on that like it literally sounded like someone was walking okay sneaking through the lobby kenny sees an employee's only room to the far right that must be where they keep the good snacks tiptoeing towards the door the sound of approaching footsteps echoes off the stone and tile someone's coming she better find a way to avoid getting caught make a sneaky dash for the employee room hide in a nearby trash can i just have to get to the employee's room so i might as well just like we're just gonna dash into the employee room Oh my goodness, no. Today, Kenny learned that standing as still and silent as possible doesn't make you invisible. The guard could clearly see her in the doorway and ejected her on the spot. You were temporarily banned from the Silly Tiger Sanctuary as a result of your actions. You need to go home, Kenny. You're going to get in trouble. Mom and dad are still out. We have all of these mood lids. I am just so obsessed. I think they already had their drink. So, yep, I see Kenneth's cup. Now we're going to come over here, sing a duet. Let's go ahead and sing some pop with our mans it is literally in the morning and so they're obviously not going to get caught um by barbie and kenneth i think unless they tell them because barbie and kenneth might think that they were out like just out and about at the beach or something at least that's probably what the alibi is gonna be cat got your tongue she's so angry <laughs> how dare they throw me out what are you doing here chris let's have chris actually scare her first so he's gonna like scare her what are you doing here huh? <gasps> chris what are you did you follow me here <laughs> he's like yeah what are you doing here look at his face he's like you know the tiger sanctuary doesn't open until like eight o'clock um so uh, it's so funny he's like haha you look so scared right now oh my gosh you do this <laughs> look at them playing okay well can you please just do me a favor, please don't tell mom and dad. And so I think Crystal's gonna agree to it and what she's gonna say, all right, like, you're my favorite. You're, you're, you're my favorite sibling, even though she knows that, you know, she's twins, she has a twin, but she's just gonna say, come here, 
you're my favorite. Don't tell anyone, okay? And he's like, no problem. Just promise me you'll get me some candy and some good snacks. Yeah, of course. No problem. And dare I say it, this is like my favorite episode um, of Growing Together. This has actually been really fun. I wish they could become best friends uh, because I, I just, I feel like they, let's offer encouraging words. Like, you know what, kid? You're the best little brother <laughs> that I think anyone could ask for because I have friends that um have baby brothers and they're not as cool as you so how about we go to the beach and pretend that we were there all morning sounds like a plan <laughs> she's really saying it too she's like how about we go to the beach <laughs> yes yeah, that sounds cool you guys better hustle at home because mama and daddy are coming <laughs> they are running for their lives this was so fun babe i'm so glad we spent our birthday this way yes it was so much fun we have to do this again before we leave yes so we're gonna just go ahead head home take a shower have a chill day princess didn't get to show us the apartment and i realized princess didn't even come to our birthday dinner <laughs> I feel so bad. I just realized this. But, um, you know, she was also doing her own thing here in my mind, you know. So, I mean, we'll, we'll spend time. We'll spend time tonight. Hurry, your parents are coming home. Nice. Okay, and where is Christo? Christo is right behind her. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Barbie is right there. So, from right here, Barbie sees Chris, right? Um, luckily, he's right near the house. So, I think she's going to come over there and she's going to say, Chris, Chris, what are you doing out here? Oh, um, me and Kenny just decided to go swim. We're right here. Oh, you guys are just so cute. You cute kids? All right. Well, go ahead, buddy. I don't want to stop you from having fun. Thanks, Mom. Actually, I have to use the bathroom. Let me just... Oh, this up. all right so let's have him swim around here um actually no before he swims ironically enough tomorrow is oh my gosh i cannot pronounce this right in tagalog um if you are filipino <laughs> please feel free to go ahead and correct me in the comments but uh it's basically like a day of the dead day and we're gonna celebrate we're going to honor our ancestors create like a kind of like a little altar even maybe to remember the dead um and make like their favorite dishes and traditional dishes and all that stuff so that is tomorrow's so i don't know if we'll be celebrating that here or at home and i think that's just absolutely beautiful that we're doing that barbie went ahead and loved to go home and i think dad's gonna give uh, chris the best hug ever and just say man i'm so glad that you all are enjoying it here in tomorang and honestly this is their secret to keep i do not feel like kenny and chris are ever going to they're not even going to tell jorlin that they snuck out <laughs> look at this <laughs> so cute i love that so much he's like thanks dad he's like all right buddy go ahead you can go ahead and play and uh swim and everything you're gonna build another castle maybe oh and we forgot we have to dig this up so let's dig this bako hey kenneth we love um we're having a cookout at my house oh man that sounds awesome you know what never thought me and me and bako we could be friends um but can't sorry dude well, technically, he was in Tamarang. But no, I already know that they're actually home in city living. I mean, in <laughs> in San Maggino. We're just going to come back over here. Hold on. I have to see if there's a tassel in here for Barbie. We haven't been collecting things and doing things. Oh, we just found another ducky. Oh, well. Uh, isn't this the life, Chris? Yeah, it is. This is the life. <laughs> He's looking at the sun and everything. <laughs> I love them so much. Well, I think this is a great finishing point. Our next episode will be the last day that we are here. And I don't know how we're going to celebrate it, but this episode was so fun to play. I love their dynamic so much. And I have to make sure I put the tooth under the pillow. So let me write that down for Chris so he can get something from the tooth fairy. But I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep swimming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next video. All right, peace out.